it's estimating I'll sell 63,716 units for 230. All right, what's up guys? I know it has been forever since I have dropped a new YouTube video and I apologize. I've just been busy, a lot going on, but I got a cool video I wanna share with you guys today. So the past week or two, I've been working on my quarter four goals, right? Kind of strategically thinking about my business and where I'm putting my resources and effort. And I've been using ChatGPT and I asked it to analyze the current status of my print on demand business with Merch by Amazon. And I'm really, really kind of amazed with the results and what we discussed, right? It's almost like a free business consultant. So in this video, I'm going to use my print on demand business to show you what I'm asking ChatGPT and what kind of data it's, it's presenting to me and how I can use that to make decisions. And it's really less about you know, my numbers and things like that. I want to kind of instill to you guys at home that using ChatGPT or using anything analytical to look at your data and your numbers and your past performance is going to be the best indicators you can get in order to make future decisions. Okay, so I'm logged in here to my Merch by Amazon dashboard and you can see here I am in tier 100,000, okay, right up here. All right, so Amazon has a tier system. You start at tier 10, you work your way up. I'm in tier 100,000, but if you look here at live designs, you can see I only have 33,851 out of 100,000. So I'm using about 33.9% of my capacity. What I wanted ChatGPT to do and what I'm, what I'm going for is I wanted to project revenue for me based on my current sales rate and number of live, live designs. So in theory, as my live designs increase, Show, so should my revenue, but how much, right? What are those numbers? All right, so here we are in chat GPT. Now I'm gonna save you guys all the like chatting and details because nobody wants to read a bunch of text on a YouTube video, but you can see here after I explain what I want, chat GP responds with this, to accurately estimate your annual revenue based on the total number of live designs, we'll need to determine the expected number of sales per design and then scale this up according to the number of, designs, number of designs you plan to have. So there's a formula we can estimate right now how, many, how much I'm making per design, right? And then we can scale that up. And that's basically what this is. Now, I did also explain to ChatGPT, what about the spike during quarter four? So we can go in here to my analytics and I'm just using USA for easy numbers, but this is last year, okay? This is what I sold last year. And you can see here, quarter four, these last three months, really big spike. It's very common with print on demand. Um, it's very common with my portfolio. And I estimate that to be a conservative 40% spike during Q4. So I told ChatGPT that because that's a significant portion of sales that needs to be accounted for in these estimates. So blah, 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 it's talking about it. I give it my data and stuff like that. And let me get down here to what it actually showed. Okay, so here we go. This is basically what it's projecting. So right here at the top, you can see 33,371. That is my current level of designs. That's how many designs I currently have live. And actually, um, it's a little bit more than that, 33,851, because I've done some uploads since I was working on this in the past couple days. But it's projecting that I'll sell around 21,262 units at my current ratio and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys the prompt that I used to, to create this chart so that all you have to do is plug in a little bit into chat GPT and it should give it for your numbers um, and it's projecting I'm gonna make seventy six thousand eight hundred eighty two dollars that's at the current design capacity or the current design that I have live but look at this I want to show you guys right what kind of potential you can get as these tiers or as these designs increase so at 40,000 live designs holding my same sales rate, right? I'm projected to make 92,000. And then look at this. If we jump 50,000, we're over 115,000 a year. 60,000 designs, 138. All the way up, I, I just stopped it at tier 100,000. If I were to fill all 100,000 designs and maintain the same sales conversion rates and expectation in terms of designs that sell, it's estimating I'll sell 63,716 units for $230,000.
That is life-changing money. For me, this exercise was really motivating, right? It's motivating me to stay the course, to fill my slots, to continue to look at my numbers and continue to try and become more efficient and understand as I am putting in resources and expense, right? Costs to create these designs, what can I expect in return? And obviously there's variables, like I said, right? About designs, about timelines. If I were to upload 100,000 designs tonight, it's not like tomorrow I'm gonna make $230,000. We all know with, with print on demand, these things take time to kind of you know, um, index and to gain momentum and sales velocity. Again, this is really just an exercise here to show you guys the power of using ChatGPT almost like a free business consultant. In the world of corporate America and stocks, this is what they do. It's all based on projections. What I wanna instill into anyone watching this is that you can use ChatGPT or any other tool out there, whatever it is, but put in some of your numbers and ask it some questions. And, and things could change, right? I could have a bestseller next week that throw these numbers off or something could be trademarked and all of a sudden I have to take down hundreds or even thousands of designs. I'm not discounting that. And you should always take these numbers with a grain of salt. But the point I'm trying to make is that you can really, really get some cool motivation and some cool insight into your business if you take a second to talk about some of the numbers, things like total designs, sales, um, you know, total live designs, your, your sales rates. And a lot of this you can get right here on the dashboard. I mean, I can just tell it, I have this many designs, I have this many products. This many have sales, right, 1.3%. I can even go in and provide some more detailed data, right, on the amount of sales per day, my average royalties. All of this stuff is available, fairly easy to access on Amazon, on your dashboard. Plug it into ChatGPT and start asking it some questions. Now I know there's some people out there watching this right now that are sitting on Merch by Amazon accounts that they haven't touched in months or maybe years. Maybe you're in tier 5,000 or maybe you're in tier 25,000. Doing this exercise might give you the motivation you need because I firmly believe that Merch by Amazon is the best print-on-demand platform and this tier system and the ability to scale it out really, really can create life-changing businesses and life-changing revenue. So get on ChatGPT, play with your numbers. This is really motivating to me. That's gonna be a big sticker here on my office desk wall because I wanna stare at that number and, and really try and shoot for it. Will I? Who knows? You know, I don't know. Um, time will tell. But now I have a target. I have a goal. I have something to work towards. And it's based on realistic data, my data. And that's how you make these projected decisions. If you guys like this kind of stuff and you want to learn more about my mindset and strategy when it comes to print on demand or any of my online businesses, please give this video a like and hit that subscribe button and sign up for my newsletter. This is it right here. You can sign up at the link down below in the description and you're gonna get a copy of my free niche research guide. This is something I made myself. It's a 17 page document that basically covers everything from the foundations all the way up to kind of more advanced level niche research. Doesn't focus on any paid tools. This is more about like mindset, strategy, like what to look for, what kind of metrics and data points. And down here at the bottom, I have hundreds and hundreds of free niches and cross niches to help you stimulate and brainstorm during your niche research sessions. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to get more videos out soon. I got so many good ideas. It's just getting the time to share them all. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.